honey, come see this. You got to see what's going <laughs> on. Some yeah. strange lights in the sky. Yeah, you weren't alone. We had a lot of calls about the two bright lights in the sky. Joining us now to explain what we were seeing, UWM professor and the director of the planetarium, Director Jean Creighton. Dr. Creighton, thank you. Let's start with this. We now know it was Venus and Jupiter in conjunction. In words that I can understand, what does that mean and how rare of a celestial happening is that? Thanks so much for asking. So um, these are very bright planets, right? Venus is the brightest planet we can see and Jupiter is the largest one. So when the two of them come together, that's really nifty. What you're seeing is that they are aligned. So if you imagine that the yellow ball behind me is the sun, Venus is in that direction and Jupiter is going to be, of course, on the other side of the sun. So they look like they are aligned, even though, of course, they're many millions of miles apart. Many millions? M many millions? Millions. Really? And we're able millions. to see that. Just, it's mind boggling to those of us who don't understand the science of this. Uh, you know, we're, if you miss this. Well, oh, go ahead. No finish. Well, I just wanted to say that um, I think that often people who don't look up very often see Venus and are startled. This has happened to me before when I was a grad school student. We'd get all kinds of phone calls about the aliens are landing in my backyard and I would just say, oh, it's, it's really bright Venus. Uh, no aliens today. Doctor, we had so many calls last night and I'm wondering, are you heartened by people's <laughs> curiosity or are you concerned that as a whole, we don't really know a lot about what's going up there, yeah. certainly not to your level. Well, I am thrilled that any time people <laughs> look up and enjoy the night sky, and if now they remember that, oh, Venus really is super bright, and even Jupiter is really bright, that's something that they can look for again. Yeah. And maybe they get curious about looking for mm -hmm. other things in the night sky as well. Well, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. When can we see such a phenomenon again so we can plan for it? It's a great learning tool for kids, too, if you want to get them out there and say, hey, look at what's going on. So this thing happens reasonably often. So what you do is you, you Google it, you search it. When is the next conjunction? When are the next two planets? Or when are planets going to be close to each other? So for example, oh, even though Mars is not close to those two, to see three planets at the same time is a bit of a treat. Mm -hmm. So we can see Jupiter, Venus, and Mars is pretty much overhead early in the evening. So that's a treat. So if those clouds that we were talking about before kind of let up a little bit, we'll be able to see that tonight. Oh, exciting. I'm yeah. so glad this has people asking questions. Yes. I'm sure you are too. Dr. Creighton, UWM, thank you so much. Yeah.